Okay. <clears throat> now the electromagnetic waves we 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 defined earlier. So so electromagnetic waves. <clears throat> can be polarized it can be polarized and what do we mean by polarization that we uh, that we just now said say for for case of light if i have got a polaroid and polaroids have such fine grains of resins okay so, so in one direction. So what it does, there there is a light which is unpolarized, and we show it like this. So so the light goes like that. It hits it. When it comes out, it travels like that. What does it mean? And we are only showing the electric field. So it passes on like this. The the light wave goes like that the the and what are we showing here we are showing actually the <coughs> actually the oscillation of the electric field not the magnetic field okay so this is oscillations of the electric field okay the oscillations of the electric field are <coughs> are are shown like this a and they are polarizable okay uh, so much so that polaroids are uh, now not that costly and you have got polaroid goggles right what do they do they have two sliding two <coughs> sliding Polaroids, one of them is fixed, another you can rotate. So if you keep both of them aligned, then you will be getting half the light. Okay, it cuts the intensity by half. If, if an unpolarized light passes here, it goes there, the intensity becomes half of what it was here. Okay. Now what happens, you rotate another Polaroid in front of it. So, so a point comes when they become perpendicular, then what happens? There is no light that passes. Okay, so what people use it for is maybe sleeping while traveling or, or something. So you just rotate your your other um, other piece of glass and, and it becomes absolutely dark. Okay. And if you want normal, then it is this, but but you'll never be able to get more than half the intensity. It'll never become clear. Polaroid glasses cannot be clear, okay? <coughs> so, so this is about polarization. Now, <coughs> the fourth characteristic is that the electromagnetic waves carry energy and momentum they carry energy as well as momentum why do they carry energy because we know in an electric field in an electric field we have seen that the energy that the electric field carries is carried by the electric field okay the energy is not carried by anything but the electric field so so we had also seen chapter 2 that the energy density what do we mean by energy density energy Per unit volume. Okay. 
is equal to half epsilon naught e square. Okay. Energy is carried in the electric field and in a magnetic field the energy density again the same thing which is defined as energy per unit volume is 1 by 2 mu naught b square. See here to the <coughs> law of similarity, the, the law of uh, similarity between the electric and the magnetic field holds. Okay. So, so what happens? This is my energy density. Now, obviously, since, since an elect electromagnetic wave is carrying an electric field and a magnetic field, Hence, it has those energy densities associated with this and hence has energy dis associated with it. Okay? So that's why they carry energy. Now what happens? Suppose this, this elect electromagnetic, uh, electromagnetic wave comes and hits a surface. Okay? Then what happens? If an EMW this I'll be using for electromagnetic waves, hits the surface, the electrons on that surface start moving. In what direction? In the direction, of the, in the direction opposite to the electric field. This is from electrostatics. So if this is your electric field and there is an electron, <coughs> what happens? It starts moving like this. Why? Because the force that it applies is Q into E. If Q is positive, if it is a negative charge, opposite. If it is a positive charge, same direction. It is just the, the concept of scalar multiplication of a vector. Q into E. If it is positive, the force is in the same direction as the electric field. If it is negative, the force is in the opposite direction to the electric field. We get the point? So the electrons on that surface start moving. Now the moment the electrons start moving, the magnetic field also starts exerting force on it. Do we get that? On a static charge, it cannot apply a force. Why? Because the force by the magnetic field is something like this. Correct? We get the point. Did we get the point? Fine. So, it starts moving and on the moving charge the magnetic field also starts the magnetic field also starts applying the force starts applying force okay now our classical mechanics says until and unless an object has an has a momentum it cannot <coughs> starts applying force and 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 the electron gains momentum first of all gains momentum now we know that until and unless something has got a momentum it cannot impart a momentum to something else it is in that sense that we say that it has momentum and not only that it has a momentum energy as well as momentum Due to this momentum, there is also radiation pressure, okay? An electromagnetic wave is capable of exerting 
और रेडिएशन प्रेशर और रेडिएशन प्रेशर ऑन अ सोफस ओके इट इट एक्सर्ट्स रेडिएशन प्रेशर ऑन द सोफस एंड इट कैन बी फेल्ट इट इट इज नॉट अ हिपोथेसिस now if so if light is incident on the metal then it applies to pressure yeah yeah it, it it applies yes if the intensity starts becoming more then you can actually see that pressure and you can also feel that pressure if energy imparted to a surface is u in time t the 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 momentum gained by it becomes p is equal to u upon c okay now the radiation pressure by visible light by visible light is it was measured and found to be 7 into 10 to the power minus 6 pascal that is the radiation pressure by the visible part of the light okay the visible light so we get that now the whole power of our electromagnetic waves is due to this capacity to carry energy and momentum with it okay and and it's no wonder the first it's no wonder that that we have a communication revolution so uses of electromagnetic waves the first use is that you are alive okay we are alive only due to the electromagnetic wave called light fine so all all life on earth is sustained by it by light which is an electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave okay okay now since it carries energy what happens we are able to propagate it it across across the world so so the communication revolution is due to the capacity of electromagnetic waves to carry energy now if it did not carry energy how will it transfer that energy somewhere else okay so it carries energy whatever say antenna or wherever it hits you there it it induces energy and 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 it, that energy when gets amplified by your by your tuners and and tv that is what is your tv signal 
though you receive a very small amount of that energy still you will have to receive some amount of energy that that will able to that will be able to induce current so if it did not carry any energy it will not be able to induce any current and if it did not induce any current you will not receive any signal okay so all the all the communication all the mobile and the and the and the tv and and whatever modern world revolution we are seeing is due to the capacity of the electromagnetic wave to carry energy okay